Hey YouTube, this is Kevin Bowen of Bowen Small Engine, and I've just returned from outside gathering the bark from the tulip poplar. I want you guys to note that there are two bundles here, of course. One has been slightly processed. Uh, this is about two days old, guys. Uh, I'm still not really done with it. Uh, if you look, you can see that I really like my fibers, as you can see in this little uh, jug, if you will. I like them really small. To be honest with you, almost to the point of cotton. <laughs> so uh, I know that this will suffice. There's no question about it. Uh, I can take a ferrocerium rod, um, punk wood, um, char cloth, if you will, and get this bundle to ignite very easily. Uh, even a lighter, if you will. Okay, there's no issue. It's just that I'm uh, pretty particular over my tender bundles, and I really like for them to be fuzzy, so that if you're making a bow drill ember, it picks up almost instantly. Okay, so that's basically what it comes down to. Um, as I said, this is what we just processed a little while ago from outside, and we're going to have to work this to get it down to even this point. Now these are slightly dry where I came back in, as you can see, and uh, allowed them to dry for a little bit. But all I'm doing is just pulling them apart. And yes, this is a very dusty job. But it's well worth it. You get some amazing tinder by doing this. So as you can see, all I'm doing, guys, is just slowly but surely working this tinder bundle. Or bird's nest, if you will. It'll be a bird's nest, basically. <laughs> and I'm breaking down the fibers. And I'll continue to do this until the fibers are as small as this, basically. Like I said, it's not necessary to go much smaller than this, but I prefer to do it because I really like those fibers to be exposed. It seems to really aid in uh, having a good tender bundle, or bird's nest, if you will. Now, I I wanted to mention, guys, in my other video that uh, basically I add birch bark and cedar to these uh, little tinder bundles, if you will, before I turn them into a bird's nest. And I highly recommend it, okay? You're not going to find any better tinder than what I showed you, okay, in my video, at least not locally. Um, I will note that you can add fat wood, and that really makes a difference, okay? Uh, especially in windy conditions. But as I said, guys, you're not going to do this in two or three minutes. This takes a little time. And I'm just continuing to break the fibers up. And yes, I am making a mess on my wife's rug or carpet, if you will. <laughs> But I'll clean it up before she gets home, so maybe I'll survive the ordeal. But as you can clearly see, this is almost to the point of what this is. And as I said, I could add leaves to this, uh, small branches, um, birch, cedar, fatwood, and I could have a really great tender source here for starting fires. I am going to tell you guys in the next video that I do, um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to find um, fat wood in nature. Uh, I want to start off by telling you this though, not everyone is going to have an abundance of fat wood. Okay, I know this to be a fact because I have been in 
some places where you would expect to find it and there'd be very very little if any and then in others like I said <laughs> you may have an overabundance um, in the areas that seem to fall short I have noticed that you can find it that wood anyway when the trees the pine trees have taken damage and they make these little balls okay that gather up so keep that in mind guys but like I said I'll be talking about that at a later date until next time YouTube